GI Mob shit, and I'm back. So we're gonna be going downtown with it. We're gonna be going in that beat, that St. Bernard project. Shout out to that beat, man. Shout out to that seven wall. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them hard heads. And long live Lil Marvin out the Bernard, man. Shout out to my dog, B Dog, man. My nigga LeBrandon out the Bernard. And Kasai, your papa, man. Long live all the guys, man. Long live all them niggas out the beat. You dig? But um, we gonna be talking about Lil Marvin out the Bernard. Well respected, very loved in the streets, you feel me? Was well ahead of his time, you know what I'm saying? Was a young, I'm talking about a young cat getting to that bag. You feel me? Dude really was, I'm talking about getting it. I done heard all type of stories about young, young and in, um, in Conchetta. He got a lot of love and was talked about all the time. I done just heard the stories about how he was taking care of a lot of the young boys that was back, you know, back there in jail from the Seven Wall. How much he used to be doing for niggas out of his hood, you know what I'm saying? And I was hearing all this from one of his main men, you know? He really took that shit hard when Marvin died and I hadn't seen a lot of pics of him. You know what I'm saying? Through my partner B-Dog, you feel me? Cause like I said, that was his main man. So, you know, that's how I really come to even knowing of LaMarvin from my partner Brandon, you know? And him was on the jokes together, juvenile jokes. And he was just lacing me up. You know, he used to always be talking about it. Hey, man, my partner this, man, my partner that. My partner LaMarvin this, man, my partner LaMarvin that. And like showing me the pictures and I could see, he mentioned a couple more names too. You know what I'm saying? He showed me pictures of other guys, but that's the name that stuck because when I would come home, I would I would hear his name a lot in the streets once I was released from juvenile um, detention center from CYC on Tulane and Broad. Once I came home and you know my partner had then already like mentioned his name to me and you know had to show me pics of him and stuff like that and put me on the type of things he was out here doing. I was hip to it, you know what I'm saying? So when I got out and I went to hearing the name, you feel me, I already knew the face, you feel me? I already could put the face to the name, you feel me? Or like, man, that's who homie was talking about. You feel me? And he really was, he really was something special. He really was something different, you know what I'm saying? Like, to be 17 years old, 16, 17 years old, turned up like he was turned up, you know what I'm saying? That was something special, you know? And it'd be crazy, cause he probably, he looked like he had a connect that wouldn't quit. You feel me? He must have had a real, Cuban plug or something, or whoever he was messing with had a Cuban or a Mexican plug, Dominican plug or something, because, you know, they was turned up. Like, him and his whole little clique, from what I was seeing on the pics I was seeing, like, they was super turned. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to remember um, these other two to three people. It was like they little circle. A partner B was in their circle. He just was locked up at the time he was showing me these pics. Back then, he showed me a couple of pics of what he had. He had a... Um, he had a Tudo Cutlass Supreme, a great Tudo Cutlass Supreme on the fan. I know y'all remember the rims that looked like the fans. You know what I'm saying? He had the fans on his shit, you know what I'm saying? With the mirror tint. His shit was nice. Me and him, we've been like tight ever since, you know what I'm saying? Cause like nigga be saying, man, hustlers no hustlers, killers no killers, you know what I'm saying? And we like, we just clicked, you feel me? Like he had got into it with um somebody in the, in the can with me. One of my partners though, I won't say it was um, my partner Tony out the, out the, out the, um, out the Cali. Shout out to that bitch Tony too, man. You know what I'm saying? Tony got people around my way off of Mary and Magnolia, you know what I'm saying? That's how me and Tony met up and got cool, you feel me? Through some of the, you know, some of the homies on that end on the dark side, but um, I think him and Tony got into it in jail and was about to bang. Or oh, they had a scuffle or no, they was about to bang and I I messed it with B, you know what I'm saying? Tony, my round, this my this, you know, this this one bumping shoulders with in that can, you feel me? Me and him like, you know, on some head up shit. I had a couple other people I was playing head up, but me and him was on some real head up shit. Yeah. So I had to holler at Tony like, look man, nah bro, like, you know what I'm saying? He dude cool, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't mess with that, you know. You know, it was over with, you feel me? They ain't damn scratch, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, Tony was my partner. And you know what I'm saying? Me and B was cool, you feel me? So I ain't gonna want that, you know, that type of energy for them too. Cause I ain't gonna be stuck in the middle of that badass energy. But all them, all them, uh, they hold, you know, they hold a circle. Like a couple of them was in jail at this time. So like I said, that's how I was seeing the pics. 
and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? Lamarvin will wind up losing his life. Long with Lamarvin, man, he will wind up losing his life coming from Whispers one night on the um on it on our interstate. You know what I'm saying? Um I won't say they say it was it was the turn in between um I won't say it was that that Elysian Fields turn. Or it could have been that Morrison, that, that little Morrison bent after you coming around, after you coming from around um, Crowder, you know what I'm saying? Once you coming out the east and you pass up Crowder. Once you get in between, like, once you get right before the Morrison exit and the Chef exit, they got a long little, a long little hook, you know what I'm saying? I just did an ep and, and mentioned a, a ep where a dude got hit. In one of my previous steps, I said somebody got hit on that same little hook. You feel me? That might be the hook right there. They got another one when you get down. You feel me? Once you go up some, they got another one on like Elysian Fields weight. But that's what they told me it happened at. Between Elm and Aston and Elysian Fields on that little hook coming back. You feel me? Like right before you actually hit Elysian Fields. That's why I was told that, you know what I'm saying? He lost control of the car or whatever. He lost his life in a car wreck, you know what I'm saying? In a bad car accident. But he definitely was turned up, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I seen pics of a lot of the stuff they was riding in, you know what I'm saying? Bubba Dye, Lexus, and vets, and, and this, that, and the third for 16 year olds. You know, for juveniles, they was turned, you know what I'm saying? Because my first whip was an Audi 100, eggshell white with eggshell rims. So you know, all of us was everybody was like turned at this time, like when they was younger. But they look click was super turned. Like I said, they must have had a yeah yeah connect, you know. <clears throat> but man, shout out to that Bernard, man. Shout out to that Seven Wall man, long little Marvin. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get in that comment section if y'all remember the Marvin, man. Shout out to my dog with a brand new too. Slum to a hundred GGI miles.